Like, I, yeah, I feel like you're, you're like this. I know. And I'm like... <laughs> I don't know how to, I can't be like this. Why? <laughs> Just look like a giant floor pattern. Hey, how about this? Is this alright? Can I sit like this? Yeah, but are you going super uncomfortable? <laughs> Just bad posture. <laughs> alright. So am I okay where I am? Yeah, I think this is, we're zeroed. Okay. In between them. <laughs> I think. I feel geeky. <laughs> I feel very nerdy. That's what I'm saying. It's, it looks unnatural. Hi, guys. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of... <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of... The oh, Host Away. Okay. I'm Mark. I'm Sam. And this is the host away. We're kind of kicking off a new year here. Yes. Uh, some of you guys have started school already. Some of you Not are starting or Monday. Soon. Yeah. Or and some of you, yeah. Anyway, this is our back to school 2020 21 episode. So in case you haven't fo been following us over the summer, um, we're just going to recap most of what the host year is going to look like. We're super excited about this year because there aren't any barriers to transportation as far as uh, leading up to regionals. Regionals will be 100% virtual. We're in the early planning stages, so a lot of information to come. But the main thing is it's going to be on one day. One day, and that day is December 19th, and it will have a schedule to it. So if there is a medical math test, it will be scheduled at we don't know, let's say hypothetically speaking, 12 10 a.m. Yeah. <laughs> yes. What she said. I was hoping we'd say the same time. <laughs> Not on that cue. <laughs> yes, it will be scheduled and therefore everyone will have a certain amount of time to take it. It will be open book. Again, we know that to be true. Open book, open no. Yep. Yep. Online, obviously. <laughs> Virtual. We're trying to get a record number of people to participate in that. It is only going to be $20, so we're knocking it down $10 from its usual price. And there's no transportation costs, so make sure everyone in your classroom or high school joins. Yes. Speaking of competitive events, yes. today, September 1st, but you guys will be seeing this September 3rd, uh, the competitive event guidelines have been updated by the competitive events committee. They have been updated to reflect any new resources or taking anything out, but what we will say is that they are not yet reflecting what they will look like for a virtual conference. Correct. So it's safe to say that like if you're gonna be if it if your event is gonna be a test only, most likely there's not a whole lot that's gonna be changing. Um, the resources will be the same, but it's events like skill events or what are the actual categories? emergency preparedness, uh, professional uh, health professions? Yeah, events and some teamwork. Basically, non-testing events will look differently being a virtual conference. So those types of guidelines or what's going to be expected are to be determined. Yes, along the same lines. If you haven't been watching these again, the topics for this year have been released as well as the medical reading books and medical reading books. Which three are we reading? All five. All five medical reading books. <laughs> I didn't this know year. that was a trick question. <laughs> <laughs> so for regionals, we are going to have students do all five medical reading books. Yes. So there. <laughs> also, if people haven't been watching, there's a change when it comes to region. Yes! Oh, this is my favorite part, actually, of this year. Regions are not geographically separated because they don't have to be. So we will, again, put a link in the synapse for this. But regions are... Have been Essentially, changed. 100, well, not 100%, but even, equal amounts of students in each one of the regions. Yes. And so, therefore, some schools in the UP are competing against students from uh, Southwest Michigan, Northeast Michigan. I mean, it's just scattered all over the place. Yeah. I think that's that on that. <laughs> okay. Going along with competition, the state officers this year have created their own 
quote unquote host a Misha game. Z. Misha games. Why is it Misha games? Because it's multiple, multiple games. games. Mm -hmm. There it is. I thought it was one game. You're just trying to accumulate points. I guess it depends on how you look at it. Okay, well, we don't know how to look at it. So thankfully, the state officers have created a video for you and your members to watch. We will definitely link that below and inside the synapse that this video comes out with. So what's the purpose of this competition? We are trying to get the... they... Sorry. They. They are trying to get the members involved. Yes. And give you some creative ways to engage the students, have HOSA be interactive in a world that isn't in person. So they thought of some really creative and fun ideas. Yep. Uh, it's going to take place September 14th through October 11th, so roughly four weeks of the competition. Mm -hmm. um, and the reason why we're doing that is because they're trying to get things up and running quickly. So yes, it does happen fast, but that's the point. Um, there will be prizes for people, first, second, and third. Mm -hmm. um, Learn more about it in the video. All right, sounds good. We will also be doing the Gift of Life HOSA Challenge again this year. This will be our third year partnering with them, which is the Michigan Organ Donor Registry. And this will also be a virtual competition. Um, if you were not familiar with it in the past, it is chapter-based. Um, and it, you are competing with other chapters in the state. And it's basically how many people can you sign up, new people you can sign up to the Organ Donor Registry. And also, um, it's activity-based as well. So, more information to come on that because it is going to be virtual. It'll be a little bit different, but all in all, pretty much the same. So, as you can see, it may be a virtual year, but there are a lot of ways to get involved with HOSA. Including our professional development webinars. Correct. We have some professional development webinars coming out called Leadership the HOSA Way. And those will be coming out weekly starting very soon. Everybody, we're really excited for a really fun year this year. It is going to be different. It's going to be virtual, but I like that because there are no barriers. So stay positive, stay tuned. We're going to have more information coming at you every week in the HOSA Synapse and HOSA the Leadership Way and the HOSA Way, all those things together. That was rough. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> and that's the host away. So speaking of yeah. competitions, mm -hmm. um, today well, this is cool. April is <laughs> April. <laughs> today, this day in April, we pre-recorded this. We were really looking ahead, and this is actually, we're recording in April Hot right day. I do not know what I was thinking. <laughs> um. <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> We are really excited that HOSA is back in gear. <laughs> Take. <laughs> I know it's so annoying. <laughs> Sometimes I think I forget. <laughs> like me laughing makes me so